It's Brandon here, coming at you with another MLB The Show 21 video, second video on the channel, so if you guys like it, please leave a like, if you dislike, leave a dislike and let me know why you didn't like it. If you feel like subscribing, please subscribe. And this one's going to be about how to level up your ball player the fastest way possible. Uh, so for my ball player, I have the diamond one, and I think I've mastered how to level it up the fastest and quickest way. Uh, unfortunately, the method where you s just sim it all uh, isn't going around anymore. I didn't do that one really, but uh, so I'll show you the way I did do it. So first thing you want to do is obviously, uh, no, maybe not obviously, we're going to go to Road to the Show and make sure you have a player already created. Uh, <clears throat> so the first feature I'd say would be making sure that we have everything done first. If I would go to mode specific, and if you're using a hitter, I would make sure to turn off fielding opportunities, turn off base running opportunities. They'll still do the fielding opportunities for you in simulation, but you just won't have to do them yourself. Make sure to put your uh, hitting difficulty on beginner, which is very important. So that's it for that section. Next section, we're going to go to sliders. We're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to make sure human contact, power, timing, solid hits are all the way up. And if you want to get a little spicy and cheat a little bit harder, we're going to go turn up their errors, turn down their fielder's speed, turn down the fielder's reaction strength, turn up your base runner speed, and that'll be it. If you need to pause the video there, I know I ran through it really fast. I just don't want to waste people's time. And you can set that up to you the way you like it. So now that our settings and all that are done, uh, what you want to do is make a custom stadium. Uh, so I already made a stadium, but I'll show you which one I do. You just go to Stadium Creator. For, yeah, sorry for slurring that. Stadium Creator from the front menu in the Create section. You're just going to want to edit any one of these or anything like that. Uh, the one I use is my dog's name in Park. Um, Nothing really to it. I would not have that big wall in center, so if I was going to do something, I would make it, uh, we'll go into it. <clears throat> Awkward silence time. Okay, so what we got here is we have some of the shortest fences possible. I brought them all the way in, so this one can't be used online, but I don't really care to use it online. Uh, it looks all goofy, but that's like the closest I could bring it in obviously you might be able to bring it in a little closer for yourself so I bring the walls as close as I can in and then as well as the walls being all the way in you have to make sure you set your altitude to 5279 which is the highest altitude so your player will be hitting home runs uh, make sure you save it uh, upload it to the vault or whatever mine doesn't really matter I didn't change anything but I would make the walls as short as possible because you want to get these challenges done as fast as possible. So yeah, after you're done with that, you're going to go to Road to the Show again. And we're going to go and we're actually going to assign the stadium to every single major league team. I did American and National. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you're not in the major leagues yet, you might want to assign it to everybody in your league down there. Obviously, it'll take a little bit of time, but... Uh, it's actually really worth it to have the high altitude in every single stadium you play and the close uh, the close walls. So I'll show you how it works. Um, my ball player stats and awards. Uh, I have 181 home runs. I'm kind of going off, as you could tell, because uh, sliders are juiced, the field is juiced. There's almost no way to not get through it. So with the player I'm currently working on, um, it's this guy. I'm going to go into the program. You're going to look. You get plate appearances, which happens anyway. Extra base hitch, which I hit a home run almost every at bat, and this is the, what the what helps for that. And then hits, obviously, if it goes over the fence, it's counted as a hit, and that helps because they're not catching the ball on these easy pop ups to the outfield. So if yours is similar to that, we're in good shape. If it's not, maybe you're a pitcher, and this won't really work for you. But this is how to level up like the hitter the best way possible. So I'll go into a quick game and show you how that goes. Uh, I'll just pick something. I don't want to really waste your time, but I also don't want to make edits. So sorry about that. <coughs> oh, 
come on, man. We ain't got time for this. September 9th is a special. All right. So they have me hitting fifth. It's whatever. Select the correct player you want to play on. This one's already maxed out, so I don't want him. I'm going to do this one, the one I actually need. Uh, I didn't tell you, but it doesn't really matter what position you're playing. Uh, if you want put outs, put your position as catcher. If you want assist, you can put it as shortstop or something. What I do is I just put my PCI all the way down, and that kind of makes sure that I hit it high up in the PCI, and the ball's like instantly gone every single time. <clears throat> so there's not going to be any more tips in this video if you already... Uh, if you already want to create your player, you're free to leave. If you want to watch me hit three more home runs or something, you can stay and watch. It doesn't even matter if you make really good contact. It'll just be home run anyway. Obviously, if your player's a little bit worse, it'll be a tiny bit harder. But the field and the altitude, it's like almost a foolproof method to getting a hit almost every single time. My player's batting like 800, so it shouldn't really matter. PCI is huge with the sliders and everything. Beginner difficulty. Uh, so there's only going to be like one more at bat. So if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. I'll be happy to add those. You see I barely, it didn't even get it in the PCI there and it was still hit for a home run. It's really as simple as that. Uh, it's a lot less annoying than playing an actual game where you can strike out I mean not strike out necessarily but like if you were just on beginner difficulty in a normal field you can fly out to the center fielder but this one you can make it real close and you can just hit home runs whenever so if you did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe and hopefully there'll be a next video I only want to post when there's good content to be made I don't want to post and waste your guys time so thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll see you later.